Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at passing JSON data using the Fetch API. Um, so I'm just going to create a simple web page and pass some data uh, JSON across to a .NET web API. Uh, obviously the web API could be anything, uh, in my case I'm just going to use .NET, um, but the Fetch is what we're interested in and, and what uh, what headers and what settings you need in order to be able to send that across successfully. Um, before we jump in, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click that subscribe button and the alert bell icon and you'll get uh, updates of future videos. But let's jump in here. Um, so here's my web page and let's, let's quickly add a button on here that we can get to uh, initiate the fetch call. And what's it going to do? It's going to it's going to send some JSON. So let's call it that. Send JSON. And let's start our scripts that will do this. Um, so we'll have um, an async function because uh, fetch is uh, async, and it's send JSON. And in here we're going to await our fetch call and we're going to populate that in a second uh, and once it completes we'll just console.log out the result just so we can tell that that's completed okay uh, right so we'll flesh out what needs to go in here once we've got our API um, if I just open this up just so we can see it Uh, I haven't put any text in my button. Send JSON. That would be better. Okay, that looks fine there. Now, let's create a quick .NET API that we can call then. So, .NET new web API. Like I say, this part could be any whatever you want, um, but we need an API to call. So this um, by default just gives us a scaffolded um, weather forecast and if I come into the controller we can add a new one in here. So let's, let's do HTTP post because we're going to be posting this data and we can set up a route in here and we'll call it send JSON as well. like so and it's going to return an action result and the method the method we call send json as well now this is going to come in the body of the um the request so we need to say from a body in here and uh dot net is clever enough to um, bind the object if it matches our object then it will bind the values in there so we're gonna we're gonna use this weather forecast object um, and so I'll match that in the JSON that we send uh, we're not gonna do anything with it we're just gonna log this out like so and if I pop a breakpoint on here we'll just be able to grab it All right. Oops. All right, so that will allow us to uh, receive it. We do need to set up cores on here. And as I can never remember, I got a little snippet. So let's go into startup and configure services. And we'll just add in this cores setting here. And we're going to be coming from, I think, 127.0.0.1 and port 5500. If I just check on here, yeah, so that is where we need to accept requests from. So that should be fine. And then we just need to actually say to use that setup. Uh, oh, one other thing we need to do is say um, allow any header because we're going to, by default, 
that would only accept get requests but we're going to be doing a post so we need to allow any header on there and just after routing we can say right let's use that like so so we've got a method there we can call and we've, we're going to accept it um, in terms of cause functionality as well got a breakpoint so I'm going to run that and leave that and then we can come back into our web page and flesh this out so we need to call HTTP uh, and if we look at the the website that opened it's on oh, it's HTTP in fact let me just copy that 5001 local host that's what we're going to be calling and the method we want is send JSON right now how do we specify the data we need to create some data first so let's do let data equals and we want this to match this weather forecast object um, which has got a summary so let's put a summary in there um, fine and clear and also a um, temperature temperature C I think and we give that a value as well so that is what we'd like to appear on the other side now how do we do that well first of all to send data we need to specify that it's a post by default this is going to be a get method um, so we can add options on the end of our fetch call here and one of them um, is the method and we simply gonna say our method is a post we now need to tell it what type of data um, for the risk for the web API because it will say like what am I receiving and we need to tell it and hit this is here so we do that within a headers section and we need to specify the content type and we need to say that that is uh, application JSON all right so we are sending a post we are telling the content type now we need to actually provide the content and we can put that in the body which matches when I'm, I said um, from body on the API call so in the body we want to put our data now the data at the moment is just a JavaScript object we need it to, to be JSON so we need to do uh, JSON dot stringify and then pass in our data object and that will get it uh, in, into JSON basically so this will all be strings you know around each of these rather than uh, just values All right so so um, if I save that off and we come and click the button let me bring up the dev tools in case we see any errors no errors but you can see that it's gone into our API uh, and if I get rid of some of this stuff and head into here we can if I just hover over this we can see um, our summary so it's populated our weather object for us dot net's pretty cool it's found that for us um, it's got the temperature in Celsius of 30 and internally calculated that as Fahrenheit to 85 um, and the summary is fine and clear so that is how you can send JSON using fetch things to remember are ah, you need to specify the method you need to specify the headers uh, and that goes as another object itself and then in the body you can specify your JSON but you've got to make sure that you stringify it also as well uh, okay there you go uh, short and sweet hope that was informative uh, give me a thumbs up a thumbs down if you didn't like it uh, and thanks for watching catch you next time bye